Hey guys, this is Subhashish Mishra, your test coach. Today we will learn a Java program to check if a number is palindrome or not. So first we will understand what is a palindrome number. So a palindrome number is a number that is same after reverse. For example, 151. So if we we'll do reverse of 151, what will happen? You will get the same result, right? 151. Similarly, 171. Also, if you we'll reverse it, you will get 171. 343 if you we'll reverse it you will get 343 so so mainly here we will try to reverse a number if the reverse value and the number remain same then it is a palindrome number we will go to our eclipse and we will create a new java class new class we will name it as palindrome okay finish okay so first thing what we will do we will try to create some variables right we'll take few variables int reminder then we'll take one more variable sum which is type is again integer and we'll assign value 0 to it we'll take another variable as temp for temporary variable then we'll take our number so for example the number we are taking here is 151 we'll assign 151 to the number variable num variable okay so we'll we'll try to check if this number is palindrome or not first thing what we will do we'll assign num to the temp variable okay so that's why we're writing temp equal to num then we'll write a while loop and we'll give a condition if number is greater than 0 then what we will do we will do reminder equal to norm mod of 10 ok I will explain what we are doing here then what we will do we will put sum equal to sum into 10 then plus reminder ok then what we will do number equal to number divided by 10 okay then what we will do if temp equal to sum then we will tell it is a palindrome number palindrome number else it is not a palindrome number ok let's execute and see so it is a palindrome number ok so what we did here so first we took few variables of type integer one is rem stands for reminder then we took sum to calculate the sum of the result then we took one temporary variable then we have taken the number as 151 then what we have done in the first case we have assigned the number so 151 we assigned to temporary variable then what we are doing we are putting the while loop we are telling while number is greater than 0 so 151 is greater than 0 then what is happening here reminder equal to norm mod of 10 so 151 151 mod of 10 what will be the result equal to 1 so this is what the result is right similarly what we are telling here then sum equal to sum into 10 what is the initial value of sum equal to 0 so 0 into 10 which is 0 0 into 10 then what we are telling plus reminder plus what is the reminder value here 1 so what is the result is 1 then what we are doing here num equal to number divided by 10 so what is the number value now number value is 151 so number equal to 150 by 10 151 by 10 which is equal to 15 so we got 15 here again the loop will go up 15 is greater than number value is 15 15 is greater than 0 so reminder equal to number 
mod of 10 15 mod of 10 so what will be the result 15 mod of 10 is equal to 5 okay so then what will do sum equal to sum into 10 what is the sum value 1 into 10 then what we are doing 1 into 10 plus what is the remainder value 5 so what is the total value it is equal to 15 now what we are telling norm equal to norm by 10 what is the norm value now norm value is equal to 15 so 15 divided by 10 so what is the value now equal to 1 then loop point of 1 is greater than 0 yes then what we are doing remainder equal to 1 1 mod of 10 so what you are getting here equal to 1 okay now what is the sum value so sum equal to sum into 10 so earlier the sum value equal to 15 into 10 plus remainder remainder will equal to 1 so 15 plus 10 150 plus 1 151 then number value so number value equal to number divided by 10 so what is the initial number value 1 1 divided by 10 what will get 0 then the condition will go up 0 is greater than 0 no so will not go inside will come outside what we are telling here if temp equal to sum what is the temp value temp value was initially 151 because we have assigned the number to it so 151 151 is equal to sum so what is the sum value now sum value is equal to 151 so temp is equal to sum now then we will print system dot out point ln palindrom number else if this condition will not fulfill then we will put this for example we will put 152 and what we know what is the reverse of 152 251 so 251 so is it a palindrome number no okay let's execute and see it run as your application okay not a palindrome number so this is how you can check if it is a palindrome number or not thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel